Oh, hey, it's Rob. And uh, I wanted to kind of do an introduction to those of you who probably haven't been following for a while if you've just kind of caught in. Uh, I'm Rob, sometimes known as Marmot or Magic Marmot. And my usual tagline is, you know, fixing stuff or doing stuff. Uh, I fix things. I make things. And I like dogs. Unfortunately, um, in early October, I got news that my mother had gone into the emergency room. And uh, we found out at the time that her condition was terminal. So I moved up into her house. Uh, there's an apartment, a rental apartment in the basement that happened to be vacant at the time. So I moved in to be with her for her final days. Uh, she passed on. Uh, Christmas Eve of 2021 and I've been up here since well I've been up here since October uh, taking care of her and now I'm working on uh, cleaning out the house getting it ready for sale or whatever we do with it handling all the the bills the paperwork I'm the executor of the estate uh, and this is my first time doing it. I've been trying to capture bits and pieces of this as I've been going to try and maybe help other people that might be going through the same kind of thing at some time in the future. I am trying to get everything cleared out, trying to get everything, you know, go through all the things to make sure that it's not, you know, that we're not getting rid of things that are important or, you know, worth you know, of something of value for, you know, antiques or something like that. There's not, not a lot. There are a few things that are interesting. They're more collectors. They're not, they don't have a lot of monetary value. Uh, some of them have, you know, emotional value for me. Uh, but it is what it is. This time I want to do a little bit different. I want to introduce you to the dogs. Uh, this is Isis. Isis is a German Shepherd that is boy, nine or ten years old now. Uh, she's still just a, a total nutball. Um, she doesn't act at all like it. She acts very much like a puppy. Uh, this is Piper. Piper is a black lab German short hair pointer and I think buffalo cross uh, she's very large very intrusive uh, I call her an invasive species they are both total nutballs and very much the only thing keeping me sane up here well one of the only things keeping me sane they are love dogs they are very good at letting me know when I need to take time and stop being maudlin and getting all emotional and take a break and go play. You try and find some footage of some of the things that I'm working with now. This is, you know, sort of the space that's inside the house upstairs in her space. I did get her bedroom uh, cleaned out. So all of the drawers are empty, all of the closets are empty, the, the bathroom is cleared out of all of the, uh, you know, the, the stuff that she had. There are things that I am running into that I didn't expect. Um, some of them are very emotional. Some of them are, a lot of them are memories, things that she did or things that, you know, maybe I, I sent her, you know, a long time ago. She kept every card ever sent to her. <laughs> um, she traveled around the world. She visited six of the seven continents. She's been in many countries. She was in the Soviet Union uh, when Reagan was there, or when Reagan was talking about tearing down the wall. <clears throat> uh, rode the Trans-Siberian Railway, has been to China, has been to uh, I, every place. I and mean, she's South America. Uh, she's seen the penguins on the Cape of Good Hope. You know, it's stuff like that. My friends call her Battleship Nelly. It's wintertime, and wintertime is a pain in the ass here. 
It's been largely below zero Fahrenheit uh, for almost all the time. There are a couple of feet of snow outside. <clears throat> it's up over the top of my boots. So I try not to go trudging around in snow very much, but sometimes I have to go because the dogs have lost their toy. Uh, paying bills is turning out to be kind of difficult. You know, there's things mom did not have, mom did not have computer access. She was not online. She did everything with paper checks. So trying to update that to the electronic age has some delays. Um, there are things that I have to do yet with the will and probate and all of those things. And I don't know what they are yet. So I'm going to have to consult an attorney. Uh, luckily we have one. So, you know, there is that to go. There are things I'm going to have to fix in the house. Um, that's okay because I know how to fix them. There are some things that I'm going to have to hire professionals to do, and that's okay too. For the rest of it, I am getting by. And hopefully that gives you just a rough idea of what's going on so far. Um, I'm going to try and keep updates as I go. Uh, I want to try and keep something going at least once a week. I want to try and do more if I can. Uh, kind of as a the explanation of what's going on, because I don't know what's going to happen from day to day. All right, hopefully that uh, gets you caught up, gives you an idea of what's going on. In the meantime, you know, hey, if you have any questions, drop them below. Uh, if you know my contact information, go ahead and contact me. If you don't know my contact information, you could probably find it if you try hard enough. Um, but hey, I will be back at some time. This will all be done. And I'll be back home doing home things and making hot sauce and in general having mischief. So in the meantime, see you guys. If you notice, I'm shooting this with a Pro Mist filter, or the equivalent of a Pro Mist filter. I'm trying something. Uh, because, among other things, I make movies, or I used to make movies. I don't do as much anymore as I used to. Uh, so I have a lot of film equipment, and I have some of it with me. And so I'm going to try and use that to tell the story. Just to let you know, this is what it looks like without the filter. Uh, I have never tried this before, so it was something I just wanted to give a shot.